welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you around Remy's new room and it's going to be right from the beginning which was about a year ago actually. It was just how we moved in, it had like a red carpet and everything so I'll show you right from the beginning stages to how we change the floor, the walls and everything and then I'll talk you through where everything is from. So I'm really excited to show you and I hope you enjoy it. So today we are starting Remy's room. We have just kind of taken out as much as we can um, until Michael gets here, who's our friend, but also going to decorate the room for us and put down the floor um, because he's going to shift that wardrobe with Eamon upstairs. So I will keep you updated with the progression of the room and once we've stripped the carpets up and see what the floor's like. But um, obviously we've got a new wooden floor anyway because I don't think this is going to be in very good condition. So yeah, I'll keep you updated and uh, yeah, bye for now. The carpets right. up, yeah, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> To paint Remy's room, Hugo. You're the big one. Go on then. You're doing a good job, you two. Let's see. Remy's room. Oh, oh. be putting up the wallpaper on these walls and this is the very first piece and it's going to look a little bit like this Remy's room. I'm so excited because it is possibly one of my favourite rooms in the whole house. Just last week I had my DIY guy come and put everything on the wall and everything just to give it the final touches. It's still not probably 100% complete because I think it's nice to also look over the years and different things that we can add to it to make it more personal to Remy and what he likes at the time as well. But without further ado, I will show you in. Just quickly show you in here as well. This is Remy's ensuite. He's very lucky. <laughs> Just like how we moved in. Pretty simple. Okay. So I'll start 
by just going around this way of the room. So we've got this little section here. Um, I bought these shelves and there's actually one on the wardrobe here. So they came in as a set of three and they're from JISK, spelled J-Y-S-K. It's like a Scandinavian furniture shop and it's really cheap. <laughs> so they were from there. And then I got these three um, animal hooks to go with it. And they were from Futon. I got them from the shop in Manchester called Futon. They got gorgeous furniture in there, really compact, different items. So yes, I got those from there. Um, animals, they're Schley, but these are actually from Bobu. She does the ones with the little hats on. They're really cute. They were for the boy's birthday. Okay, this chair I got from the tip shop and it was only five pounds. Um, so that was from there. These cushions were from Cam Cam Copenhagen, the lovely Danish brand. These grow bags, these are quite new. I got him to uh, an animal set of two and they were from M&S. And then we've got this gorgeous poster and there is one that I might team across here and it's got a tiger on it as well. Now I'll have to tag the shop because I don't know how to pronounce it but it's from the Netherlands. Um, but they deliver really quickly and it's not too expensive to get it delivered either. And they have the bars to put the posters up as well. But I love that. I went for this one as well because it's where he sleeps. I'll have a little sleeping sloth. <laughs> um, and then we've got the cot. Now this was kind of gifted to me by Kids Mill, um, which again is a Danish brand. And then the mattress is from Eve Sleep. I've just stripped the bed because I'm giving it all a wash today. Um, and yeah, that's been perfect for and really comfy. And this bar comes off and we've got like a lower bar to put on for when he's ready to not have this, which I hope is any anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so this little area, I call it the little play reading area. Um, this is from, is it the Great Little Trading Company or the Little Great, no, Great Little Trading Company, I think it's called. That's from there and I really love it because you can kind of decorate it a little bit with different trinkets and things and put all these books on and they're low enough so Remy can grab the books and Hugo as well. And then um, these little storage containers, I've gone for like more of the natural wooden vibe in here like with the lampshade, these and some of the other toys um, so that's why I've gone for these kind of nice natural looking wooden toys. These were both from Laradute, or Laradu, not quite sure how you pronounce it, but I got those in the sale because they always have 40% off sales. So if you do like those, I'll link them, but try and look out for the sale days because they're quite often. Um, these books here, I'll just show you because this is actually Hugo's, I'll just put it here to show you, but they're so lovely. The illustrations inside, Hugo loves it, he loves pointing them all out, the ones that he knows and learning new ones. And then this map one is really lovely as well. I like how they look really nice styled up as well. <laughs> um, just beautifully illustrated and you kind of learn where the animals live and in what countries and things like that. Uh, this basket here that was from Jisk as well and again the play mat which was from Cam Cam Copenhagen. Okay moving over here we have the shutters and these are from California shutters so I did the measurements and they basically send them to you and you just have to fit them so uh, again I got my friend who is basically a jack of all trades and he came and fitted them for me and he's the guy who did the flooring and the wallpaper as well. So yes, these are the shutters. I went for the ones with the bars down the middle because I just think that they're easier to shut and close and they don't really let in that much light either, which is great. 
and they look quite nice to open to let in lots more light. So there the shutters. And then going around here, we got this for Remy for his birthday last year it was. Um, and that was from a Fun With Mum. It's really well made, it's a nice big square so Hugo and Remy can fit, fit in there really well. And I can get in there and it's really nice and spacious. It's got the pockets and the little window here. So it's really well made. I have had another TP before but it kept on collapsing and it was see-through material and just didn't feel that good quality to be honest so this is a lot better um, and then I just added these little feathered wooden decorations and again that's from the company that I cannot um, pronounce <laughs> Um, so okay, I will talk about the wallpaper, which I feel definitely sets this whole room off. This is from Photo Wall, um, it's a Swedish brand, and they have the most gorgeous different wallpapers, and it looks that good that it looks like it's almost been painted. I feel like it looks really lovely for this room, especially because this goes out into our roof terrace, so it's almost like an extension of the garden as well and obviously gives off that theme of being like a jungle room. So yes, I love it. Carrying on with where things are from. So this is from Festive Lights. I probably will get rid of this soon and bring it back out in the festive period, but we're not willing to part ways with it just yet. So the slide is from Scandibon, which the bowl pool is from there as well. They've got so many gorgeous different items to dress your kids rooms and just play toys just loads of different things so <clears throat> definitely give that a look if you like those these are kindly gifted um, and Remy absolutely adores it he puts his cars down here all the animals Hugo and him are always sliding down here we sometimes put the slide into the bubble pool and they have lots of fun doing that the lion head that was from Little Tinkers um, and Hugo kindly said that Remy could have it in his room um, to go with the jungle room. So yes, that was from there. But they are actually called, um, they're from the brand Fiona Walker. And then this rug is from the same company as the poster, uh, which I can't pronounce. So again, I'll tag the brand. I really love the design and the texture of it as well. I feel like it looks really lovely in the room. And then this lampshade, which I'm probably sure that you've seen this before in a few different places, but this is from Ikea. And yeah, it's like a nice bamboo light shade. I'll just show you with the light on. It's nice because it lets out quite a lot of light. And I just have to tell you about the flooring, which is from Direct Wooden Flooring. They kindly gifted it to me. Um, and we went for the parquet unfinished. I feel like it really sets the whole room off and gives it the kind of tone that I wanted it to have. So have a look. They really help to know which kind of um, wood that you're looking for, what design, and also to make sure that you've got the right person with the skill set to kind of put it in for you. They delivered it really quick, the guys were really, really friendly when they came and delivered it as well and brought it all inside and we're really intrigued what we're going to be working on. Uh, but yeah, I'm so, so happy with it. We've had loads of compliments about it and yeah, I will put all the links to the, the exact flooring that we have. Um, the only thing that I might just do differently next time is go for the finished so you don't have to give it the liquor varnish after you've done it because I um, I think I got a bit mixed up myself and went for the unfinished look which looks really good but it's just more work for us to um, paint over it, that's all. But it's beautiful. And then bringing you over across here, this is from the same company as the rug and the poster. And again, I like the whole bamboo feel and feel like it adds to the kind of natural wood and naturalness of the room. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, right. So if we move around here, uh, the octopus was from H&M. And I think the whale was as well. 
Yeah, H&M. Um, and H&M Home do such a gorgeous range for kits as well, so you should definitely take a look there. I actually got those before we decided on doing the jungle theme, so they don't exactly go, but um, I think they're fine to stay. <laughs> um, so going on here, we've got this gorgeous Remy sign. I got this from Etsy, and what I really love about this, it's personalised and you can have whatever name you like in it, so if your child has got a really different name and you can never find it anywhere, then this is great because they just do it for you. And then we've got the wooden arc, with which my mother-in-law actually sells on her shop. Um, she gave this to Hugo for his second birthday. Hugo said to keep it in here in the jungle room. But these are all fair trade as well, and all the animals in there. And then I'll just show you, this again was from California Shutters. It's a shutter door because out here it goes out onto our roof terrace. So it'll be nice in the summer that we can kind of move some of the slides and the play area outside on there and then move it back in so the kids can go in and out and just move in and out as they wish. And then we've got the wardrobe, which again is from the lovely IKEA. I just feel like it's such a good size to keep all the kids clothes in. Okay, so above here, I can't remember the shop of this, but I will link it below, which is the same as the wooden stacking toy that's over there. Um, we got these for Remy for Christmas, and these are really lovely wooden ones. So that's from there. And again, these little roll-on animals, they're from the same shop. And then just a nice plant to go with the greenery. I feel like that might be it. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you like how I've styled Remy's room and it's given you a little bit of inspiration if you're feeling a little bit stuck. I think it's particularly great for boys' rooms and I feel like this will be great to grow with the years so even when they're at school then it'll still be quite cool and won't be too kind of babyish for them and we can just change a few things to make it a bit more grown up. But yeah, I will link everything below. I will put if anything is being bought for from myself or kindly gifted and yes that will all be below and if you have any questions at all feel free to ask and have a great week in there? Star! Star! Yes! Star! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Is that you? Yeah, we've got the monkey there.